We predicted that Charlottesville would be the largest gathering of white supremacists in over a decade. Um, and unfortunately, we were right. Jews will not replace us! Jews will not replace us! Jews will not replace us! ADL and the Center on Extremism are dedicated to providing actionable information, analysis, and expertise to law enforcement around the country. Well before the events uh, in Charlottesville, we had been in close contact with law enforcement, providing intelligence on the variety of extremists that were planning on showing up. And we also used our voice to call for those who might attend to realize that this could be something a little bit different. We felt it important for us to be on record and to warn and prepare people for it. On the day of the rally, the Center on Extremism team was prepared to monitor what was going on from all angles. After the tragic murder of uh, one of the young protesters, when the name of the murderer was revealed and we saw pictures of him holding uh, a shield with a specific symbol, we were able to trace him to the specific white supremacist group called Vanguard America. And again, the more that you know about those who are coming into your community to do damage, the better prepared you will be. Our education work works hand in hand with the Center on Extremism. While Charlottesville was unfolding, we were following their really important reporting on what was happening. We were hearing from teachers that they wanted to find ways to answer the kids' questions in the classroom and family members were wanting to know how should I talk about this with my kids. We created the lesson plan and the table talk about Charlottesville. We have something called the Current Events Classroom where we take issues of the day, and this was obviously a big issue of the day, and create interactive lesson plans that can help teachers really bring up these topics with students. And the good news is that there's nothing political or partisan in fighting prejudice. That's why U.S. Senators from the GOP like Rubio and Hatch and McCain and many others came out against this right away, immediately, forcefully. What's the ADL going to do? We are going to fight back. We're going to fight back against the fascists and neo-Nazis. What does that mean? It means we're not going to wait for the White House. We're going to be working with state and local leaders, the business community, other nonprofits and clergy. Richard, the bottom line is this. There are no two sides to this argument. It's good versus evil. So we're prepared, as we were with Charlottesville, to provide intelligence and context to anybody that needs it. With that in mind, we've created the ADL heat map a first-of-its-kind interactive map detailing extremist and anti-Semitic incidents around the country. We want you to bring this up in the classroom. It's important that you do. Um, we want you to talk about race and racism. We know it's hard, so we're providing resources. These folks don't carry guns. They don't, uh, they're, they're not cops, uh, and yet they stand up to hate. <laughs>